Learning how to use CAD was one of the smartest moves I've ever made. Just look around you, almost everything you see started life on a CAD program. I'm Tom Norris, I'm an architectural designer and I use CAD every day to create beautiful homes for people to live in. Right, so today's lesson is all about um, how we do our drawings and how we use model space uh, for our projects. So as you can see here, uh, we're in model space, but first off, I'll just remind you that we're in TurboCAD 2022. The, uh, that's the deluxe version. Uh, so we're in model space and it's about when we get a project, it's how we organize our work in within model space uh, or within the within the you know the, the file structure etc so basically when we get a new project let's assume uh, it's an extension project which we do you know thousands of so what we do is we open up uh, a new folder but we generally don't start from scratch we basically use a template uh, and this is this is we used to do it uh, a long time ago. We basically had this set up so that we could print from model space without having to go into and set up these paper space uh, with the, these paper space print, printing uh, folders etc. So to save a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of energy it's really important that we set up our model space uh, so that you know we uh, we can access all the files we need very quickly without going in and out so in the old days I'll, I'll just show you uh, an example if I was to go to a project uh, we take a client let's assume David so what we have here is a file for the first floor layout uh, we have a drop-down curb sketch we have elevations we have existing floor layouts etc so basically we have about uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, we've got about 15 files for that particular project and all it is is an extension project and uh, I think it was a loft conversion to a bungalow so if we take another one uh, we look at Eugene here uh, this is another project but 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 different files now the problem is uh, you get when you have to do something uh, like upgrade or update or something then what you do is you're constantly in and out and if you're for example updating let's assume you're changing a window on a drawing uh, then the chances are you'll have to change it on the elevations as well as the layouts so you're in and out so we got tired of working in this way so we just tried to find a different way or a better way of doing it so if I can close this and I will show you an example of, let's um, open and we go to clients and let's just pull one of these for an example. Uh, okay, so as you can see now we've got files all over the place here. This, this particular file is uh, elevations for this particular project. What we're doing here is putting an extra floor uh, on top of this building and extending it. But um, this is the existing, after we've modeled and played around with it, that's the existing elevations for the project. Um, now the problem is if we well, the problem is you can see it's pretty messy and it's all over the place so I don't even know why those are left now because we don't need it so I'll, I'll, I'll show you an, another one to give you another example of how we used to work um, until we got smart uh, let's look at another one Frank Falcone right so if we just take Uh, this is a different type of one, so different type of project. So, do I do better not to use that one? Um, Danielle, pop, 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 trying to figure out. Let's have a look at Bob. Right. So, no, oh, this one's pretty cleaned up. 
Well, I was looking for one that showed files all over the place, and we do have them. Um, David Jones again, Don Johnson. Okay, again, a few files over here, and uh, we end. This is what we ended up with. Uh, this was proposed layouts, given a few options to convert a house. This is what showing what each flat would look like. But uh, generally speaking, um, when we work within the model space, we end up having to print off files for if it's a, like a residential project, say, and it's. Uh, uh, an extension as an example. So then we'd have to print off uh, a PDF for existing, proposed, on the layouts and on the elevations. And if we've done sections, uh, we'd have to show those as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an example of a binder template. And this is a binder template. This is how we work now. So this is a project for uh, again, it's an extension, uh, it's a couple of extensions. If we take the layout, for example, that was the existing layout, and we ended up with the proposed layouts here. So now what we have here, and this is the existing elevations and proposed elevations. And this is something else we use all the time, and this is common uh, elements that we insert into drawings, like bathroom fittings, uh, kitchen fittings, lanterns, staircase, uh, bits and pieces that we use, you know, bifold doors, uh, folding doors, and so on. So anything that we use constantly or routinely on these kind of projects, we create uh, what we call a, a loaded template. So we just basically throw that in so that instead of going out and opening up another folder and saying, right now, let's get this particular folder we go to the roof lanterns what we do is we put the most common ones in here so that on an average project that will save you about 20 times going in and out of other files to get what you need so they're here and it's basically uh, what we do then is we create a box uh, for the elevations the proposed elevations existing and proposed so if we needed to change a window for example uh, we can change it here and then automatically update it within the elevations. And of course we haven't moved and we haven't opened any files. And when we're happy and we want to print something, it's very simple. You just copy and paste into what we call uh, the print section. This is all within model space. And within the print section, we always have our uh, architect box uh, where we can fill in the details for the drawing and so on. And then just a question of control P, have a look at the preview. You can see what the drawing is gonna look like on an A3. Uh, right, so the idea is to get you organized and this is the best way possible to organize your model space for your project. So we're using an example here of a existing uh, elevations, uh, existing layouts, and where we've added on a couple of extensions. So basically we can add on here if we wanted to, if we were in the, for example, if we were in the design process, we'd create the existing elevations and take it out here, and we'd remodel, rechange, add on, take out, whatever, modify. Then when we're happy with it, we put it into the proposed elevations. Uh, same thing Ella, with the layouts. We model and tweak out here, but when we're ready, we pop them in. And this is what we call a binder file because it has all of the up-to-date drawings and anything we needed to print or update, we do it from here. Um, and it's a really, really useful uh, procedure because it saves us loads of time going in and out but we always know what's current and we always know what the latest version of the drawings um, would be uh, by going into the binder file so uh, I highly recommend that you organize your files in something of this nature so check it out uh, check out we did a 
a, a lesson a, a little while back, quite recently, on uh, printing from model space. And this is the print box, uh, so within model space. So again, it take, saves time that we don't have to copy and paste, bring it down here, set up the um, Oh, set up the 1 in 100, 1 in 50, the scale, etc. We don't have to do that. So anyway, this is already pre-set up. So if I was to open a template, for example, a new project, I'd go open. This would be a new project. So I'd go binder template. Uh, and the actual binder template would be blank. I just pop these in here just to be able to demonstrate. Uh, how it works but yeah start looking at streamlining your processes and getting the most efficient way of you know for, for forming a forming a working uh, pattern so that you can become efficient at what you do it cuts your cuts loads of time off your drawings and uh, it's much more efficient and easier to find everything okay thanks a lot for watching hope you got some value out of this lesson see you on the next one